to meet both of you. Congratulations on the series, and I guess congratulations on the second series now as well. Yeah, That's amazing, yeah. Obviously very some exciting. Nice to receive. Just last night, right? Yes. But tell if you tell us kind of a bit about your character and Piper, I suppose, at, at the same time you can tell us about your, your real story, where the genesis of this comes from. Okay. Well, um, that's a really interesting question for me to answer in front of Piper <laughs> because I feel like she might be answering it. But I mean, I play uh, Piper Chapman, who, and we, we pick up with, after she, where we meet her in our show is after she um, has been sent to prison for a 10 year old uh, offense. And, yep. and yeah. the show is <clears throat> an adaptation of my book. Yeah. Uh, which was published in 2010, which tells the story of the year, a little bit more than a year, that I spent in federal prison in the United States for a 10-year-old drug offense. And the women that I encountered there and, and what I saw, what I heard, what I witnessed. And so, obviously, you're, you're playing Piper Chapman, so a mm -hmm. slightly different character. Was, was, there a, was there a temptation to kind of or just to avoid doing like a, an impersonation or a... Sure. You know, what I found to be one of the most liberating things about this project was that Piper was very involved, Genji was very involved, and Gen what Genji and I sort of, she, what she set up, Genji Cohen, the creator of the show, set up for me is that we're, we cr we're creating our own world. Mm -hmm. So it's inspired by Piper's story, but our Piper is a character, um, not, you know, not based on... A real person it's sort of its own entity was that easier for you than Piper that it was that there was going to be deviations that it was going to move away from you know, the true story a little bit the show is an adaptation and I think that's really um, reflected in many many different kinds of storylines many new characters different characters and I think that that is the right approach I think that a really faithful docudrama would not have been as interesting as what Genji and her team have produced. Yeah. Mm. And at the same time, though, were you able to spend time together beforehand and kind of discuss stuff, kind of go into a little bit more detail of maybe stuff that is in the book that has made it to the script? We met on set uh, when the fir filming of the first episode you wow. know, was taking place. And I remember I was watching a, a particularly complex scene being filmed. And I just said, oh, this is all going to be OK. This is <laughs> <laughs> That's nice to hear. <laughs> Did that make it slightly easier for you then that you didn't have this person that you already knew that you were kind of... To, very much so. Very much so. And then we had this like great freedom because the character had already been established and we were creating the world where Piper, for me, could be a resource and we could sort of talk about little things or mm -hmm. and, and, um, and that it became... It just was a resource for me as opposed to something that yeah. I was trying to be or do. And it's an amazing story, just in the first place. I mean, I, I can imagine it probably wasn't so, you weren't thinking at the time, but this is a really good story. This will be, <laughs> I'll, I'll have fun make a great show on Netflix in a couple <laughs> of years. Yeah, I assure you, there are many times when I said to myself, you could not make this up. You know, the things yeah. that happen behind prison walls, you know, truth is much stranger than fiction. Mm. But it gives you, Taylor, a, an amazing character and a, a character amazing. that doesn't, you don't see these kind of roles that you can't come across roles this interesting. Very no, often. not mm. at all. I mean, I, I was so struck, so struck that um, Piper's story, you know, it was a, a woman in the driver's seat. It was, she was the heroine of her own story. It wasn't about um, her life and relationship to a man or a woman or a child or a, or a, you know, a, a you know, mother, daughter, sister, the way we usually see women. It was really her exploring herself and figuring out who she was. And that that is um, so exciting for me. Yeah. And this first season, I know, now we know we're getting a second season. Yeah. How much of this story does this first season span? How much do we see play out? Oh, that's a good question. I mean, I think we it's like three months. Ish. I mean, it's not a really clearly delineated thing in yeah, the first not. season, but Genji has done some very clever things. She's held some things back, you know, some settings or some uh, incidents or storylines from the book, which she may use in the second season. I guess yeah. we'll find out. But she's definitely held back on a couple juicy, juicy opportunities. Totally. So there's room for a lot more stories. There's a room yes. for a lot more. Yeah. And there's so many stories to tell. It's really not only the protagonist of Piper Chapman, but 
Yeah. I mean, what's fascinating about the world is these, you know, many, many women and, again, a few strange men mm. um, <laughs> who the show portrays. I just wanted to tell you that with all these characters, did you have anyone that you particularly liked, you know, going and sharing scenes with any particular mm. character whose storyline interested you the most? It, you know, the the one of the most exciting things about this job is the the cast for me. That it is this show is populated by some of the strongest performers I've ever worked with, and I feel so inspired going to work with all of these different art, all of the different women we have in our cast. So I can't I, I can't answer that question. I mean, because truly it was like a it was it was very very exciting, and it is it's it you know while we see the world sort of through Piper's eyes and she's kind of a, a almost like a liaison or conduit for the audience to sort of see mm -hmm. the story it's really an ensemble piece and mm -hmm. really about um we re really explore quite deeply uh the, the different prisoners you know experience mm -hmm. well thanks a lot for speaking to me both you uh congratulations on the show and uh, good luck with the second season going forward as well thank you thank so you. much